Welcome back to Callahan's Corner, where you ask the questions. We answer them live right here on Facebook. So one of the questions that was submitted today, um, or actually it was yesterday, is, Mike, how do we go in and get stock photos to spruce up our marketing and email documents as well as our estimate documents? And in addition, one of the breakthroughs that we had this week doing an essay setup was how to include the manufacturer's PDF or uh, booklet for, let's say, irrigation or hardscape uh, design. So a lot of times manufacturers have really great um, PDF pamphlets based on the products you're going to be installing at a client's home. So I'm going to show you a really expert way um, that's very unique how to implement those into your estimate document without having to attach those documents each time manually as a PDF attachment. So I'm going to show you how you can scroll through and show that. And I'm going to show you how to go in and use those stock documents and be able to customize it inside Service Autopilot. So without any further delay, I'm going to be opening up the screen. I want to say what's up to David Isabel. Uh, looks cold in that basement, brother. It is cold. Um, want to give a quick shout out to uh, Ryan Callahan Foundation here as well. Uh, my little brother's uh, foundation, him and his wife, Kyla, uh, down in Tampa, Florida, and now in Rochester, New York, um, helping support pediatric cancer and their families. So uh, great organization. You've had to check it out. Ryan Callahan Foundation. Um, after a couple of years with the New York Rangers and the Tampa Bay Lightning, uh, when they settled down in Tampa, uh, they created this great foundation here. So if you're ever looking to donate to a great uh, organization, check it out, Ryan Callahan Foundation. But um, Callahan's Corner, we're diving into it here. So I'm going to pop my screen open. And uh, yeah, David, it is, uh, it's time to throw a couple of logs on the fire down here, brother. It is Chile. Um, almost as cold as the ski slopes I was on this, after, this evening with uh, my daughter. So... I'm um, going to make it a quick one here, but this is important. So the first one I'm going to dive into is I'm going to go into the gear icon documents, and I'm going to show you how to import um, a PDF flyer or document brochure that you would have for either hardscape design or irrigation or maybe even a nursery. But this is a really cool way of doing this without having to uh, necessarily attach those PDFs. Or if you made a really slick PDF uh, for your, your company, um, this is a cool way of doing it. So I'm going in, I'm going to grab a simple growth estimate template here. Um, when you work with simple growth as a certified advisor, when we set up service autopilot for you, um, or if you end up joining the challenge that's launching Monday, uh, the service autopilot setup challenge by simple growth, this is kind of what we're going to show you how to set up. But uh, I'm going to recommend you need a client estimate email, a lead estimate email, and a client estimate template as well as a lead estimate template um, and an acceptance email. The, the reason why we have the lead and the client is in my opinion, there's two different marketing conversations. If a client's already worked with you and doing additional estimates, it's a different conversation than the conversation you have with a lead that's never worked with you. So I'm going to dive into this template here. Um, it's just a very generic framed out template that we um, have built out. And I believe this one actually has a simple growth logo in it. Um, and what we've done is taken the HTML code for the logo and matched it up to the, um, the blocks here. I'll show you here in a second. Uh, but the idea is when we set up service autopilot for other companies, um, I think we're up to, a, believe it or not, I think 35 or 40 in the last three or four weeks setting up uh, SA accounts for folks. Uh, but we take this here, we match up the HTML colors, the two different blocks, all the branding and the coloring is right. Uh, what I'm going to look at is grabbing an HTML block here and another text block. And this is what we're going to do here. And this is what we had built out for someone we just built out for last week. Um, it's going to be, uh, you know, feel free to preview the professional. Uh, irrigation. Products. We utilize. This is this would be great for a pool company. This would be great for ponds. Uh, we have a lot of companies that do uh, water water uh, features or even waterless features. Um, but this is a way of doing this. So we're going to go in, bump this out, and then we're going to go in this HTML block here. And basically what you're going to do is you've got a PDF here, and we're going to click on it. And let me see if I can get this bad boy to open up. And... We've got to actually view it here. So let me see if I can get this to pull out. Yeah, 
And let me grab this HTML code here. This is, for some reason, it is not allowing me to grab the information. So here's a way, once you pull it into a Google Doc, that we can grab this and actually uh, grab the copy here. So I'm going to go in and file and download as a PDF. And I should hopefully be able to grab the HTML code now. Let's try this again. For some reason, it is not pulling this up, but we did. There we go. Maybe publish the web. In bed. There we go. And we're going to grab the iframe and paste that right in over here to the right. And have that right there. So that will. Uh, eventually be able to give us the actual HTML. Now we have to mess with the sizing of it, but we can also do that here. So if we're scrolling through, uh, you can go in and grab uh, on the left or on the right hand side here, you can go in and grab this. So if we went in, the example we actually did for the gentleman was actually two or three of these together. So we can go in and grab this. And now you'd have your PDF of the actual brochure right here, scrollable. And that's scrollable right inside the actual document. So um, the idea is you want to get the uh, embed code, the iframe, and post it in over here. For time's sake, I'm not going to mess with the actual um, HTML code with the, the iframe for the, the width and size, but you get the idea. You can actually have a PDF that is scrollable in the actual estimate. Now, the other thing is if we want to go in and grab an image, and I'll show you what this all looks like here, uh, we can go into stock photos, so search free photos. and go in and search. So if I want to go in and put, um, we'll stick with the irrigation here, uh, sprinkler, we can go in and grab a stock photo. So we we'll scroll through and there's quite a few of these here. Let me see if I can find one that would be applicable. If not, we'll We'll just use this one here. So once we have this here, uh, I'm going to insert it. And I'm going to go in and on the right hand side, shrink it down. It's about the same size. And like it once again, I said, when you click in this here, you can manipulate that iframe code for the width and size. Uh, but that is pretty cool feature that you can embed a PDF that actually is scrollable uh, in there right from the manufacturer. So the image here, if I click on it and I go over to apply effects and more, I can actually edit the image and actually do some pretty cool things with this. We made a video a couple years ago on this, but I honestly totally forgot that you could do this. So uh, if we want to add some text in here, we can add some text and we've got it and right here. So avoid the sprinkler. And add a special creation system. So what we've got here is we can go in.
that in there. And then we can go in and apply some other effects as far as um, the ability to center it and change the font, things like that. But you kind of get the idea. So you're, you can basically go in and adjust and tweak the stock photos to your liking. And then we want to go in and apply. If you don't hit apply, it is not going to work. But we can resize, crop, filter, there's a whole bunch of cool things. And then once we save that, that's going to take that customized stock image and stick it right in there. And obviously, you'd want to spend some time and manipulate that. But the idea is um, if you can get um, the iframe for a document and embed it, um, this is going to give the ability. So we take the iframe and we stick it in right here in HTML code. So we have a scrollable document. And then we have a stock image that we've customized. So what I'm going to do is go in and save this. And let me see if I can actually preview this right here uh, with the scrolling so you can see what the actual preview would look like. So you've got it here, and it's showing you you can actually scroll through the document. Here you need to make sure that you've got the appropriate document. But the idea is you can embed a, a PDF that is scrollable right in there. You want to make sure we size it. And you can have a stock photo with custom uh, right inside SA. So comments or questions drop below Callahan's corner. You ask the questions. We answer them live or right here on Facebook, but wanted to break down how you can use, um, a PDF in your, uh, presentation embedded right inside the documents. It's scrollable through HTML code. So you don't have to attach each one of these PDFs, uh, manually. And then in addition, uh, we can go in and grab those stock photos and manipulate them right inside the software, save it and it's set, and set to go. So comments, questions, drop below Callahan's Corner. You ask the questions, we answer them live right here on Facebook. We'll see you again tomorrow, live on the Callahan's Corner.